Mornings with Jerisha is a radio show and podcast here to equip, empower, and elevate you to the next level by helping you win your mornings and win your day with inspiration and motivation so you can wake, slay, pray, and take action. Today is a fabulous day to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. This show is for everyone from all walks of life who just simply want to feel empowered and motivated to take the next step. Now, let's get it. Let's go. Mornings with Jerisha begins now. Hey, 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 welcome back to Mornings with Jerisha. I hope that you're having an amazing morning, an amazing Monday morning. Can I say, and you know, you know, you've heard me talk about this on the show before, but are you on the struggle bus this morning? So on the Mornings with Jerisha show, it's all about executing on our goals, our dreams, and walking into our purpose. And so I hope that as you're tuning in today, you came here because you really want to feel equipped, empowered, and ready to elevate to the next level. And we believe that we all wake, we pray, we slay, and then it's time to take action. So just know that I believe in you today, I understand because we have all been on that struggle bus. And if we can be completely honest with ourselves, some of us have a really hard time getting off that struggle bus. But today we're going to talk about empowering your Mondays so that you can start your week strong. Like who doesn't want to start the week strong? Maybe you had, you know, a great weekend, a not so great weekend. And for many of us, Sunday, we're dreading Monday mornings. We are going through the motions because we don't want to go to the jobs that don't fulfill us. We don't want to do whatever it is that, you know, we are going through on Sunday. We don't want to get up and do that on Monday morning. And so I'm hoping that by the end of this show, you will feel really empowered for your Mondays and to really start your week strong. So let me just say, we are all on this journey. We are on this journey. There is no getting around Monday mornings. It is what it is. Monday is the start of the week, but it doesn't have to be something that you dread, something that you're like, you know what, I hate Monday mornings. And if you can be honest with yourself, do you hate Monday mornings? You know, I can remember a time in my life where I absolutely could not stay in Mondays. It was like, oh, you know, it's another Monday. We dread Mondays for like again, those those jobs that we don't feel fulfilled or the toxic environments, whatever it may be for you to why you don't particularly care for Mondays. Hopefully, again, your mindset will change after today's show. So I really want to lay the foundation because as I talk and share on um, just how we can really feel empowered and empowering our Mondays, I'm going to really touch on three different points. And that first one is for us to set clear intentions. Now, we've all heard the saying, a dream without a plan is just a wish. But know that the blueprint for your week ahead, you know, like we need to plan that blueprint for our week ahead on Sunday evenings or Monday mornings. And what does that look like? That could potentially look like you know, writing down what you hope to achieve. What are the tasks that really demand immediate attention for you? And how how do these connect with your overall goals? So there is a well-known author, um, Alexandra um, Ellie, who says, even on my weakest days, I get a little bit stronger. Every intention set and fulfilled, no matter how small it may seem, 
contributes to building an overall strength. So you need to set clear intentions. And maybe that's part of the reason why we are on the struggle bus on Monday mornings. Have you set clear intentions? How is your attitude for Monday mornings? Like if we're waking up and absolutely dreading the day, guess what? That is going to really affect your whole entire day. And I don't know about you, but I am energized about Monday mornings now. I get energized about every single morning because I'm excited to wake up again. I'm excited to wake up, you know, pray, slay, and take action. You know, when we have the greatness, we all have greatness that is within us. But we have to be willing to see that greatness and understand our part and what we need to do to unleash that greatness. And so I believe as a part of that, we have to set those clear intentions. So have you set clear intentions for today? We also have to have positive visualization. Now, Henry Ford uh, once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And what I'll tell you is that I have learned so much about the power of visualization And I use it as a motivation tool. So when we imagine ourselves completing our tasks, um, you know, efficiently, and then we imagine overcoming those challenges, we reinforce our self-belief. So as we step into the week, let's dedicate some time on Monday mornings to visualize positive outcomes. You know, when we when we really dwell upon um, these images, it allows us or allows them to inspire, inspire us and set the course of our actions for the day, for the week. Think about that. I, I can tell you that I have been visualizing and that's a part of my like morning routine is, you know, visualizing. And I think I've talked about on the show before um, how um, I, you know, stumbled on the morning, uh, the miracle morning and what it all, what all, incl- what all was included in the miracle morning. And so visualization was a part of that and how, you know, if we get up a little bit earlier, if we really, again, going back to the intention, if we really have those clear intentions for what we're going to do, that day, that which starts with that morning, then we can get so much accomplished just within a short time. So utilize your visualization, positive visualization. So, you know, no longer are we going to look at Mondays as though we're dreading Mondays. Oh, I hate Mondays. No, we're going to change that thought process. We're going to change our mindset and really begin to develop those positive visualizations. And, you know, you can utilize positive affirmations as well so that you can approach Monday morning with a different attitude. We need to approach Mondays with a different attitude. You know, instead of saying, oh, I hate Monday mornings. I love Monday mornings. And maybe that's not even your truth. (laughs) Maybe that's not your truth. But how can you begin to love Monday mornings? What can you do in your life right now? What can you do today so that you can begin to love Monday mornings and not feel like you're on the struggle bus? Now, the other thing is that we need to celebrate our achievements. So every effort that we're putting forth, every task that you accomplish is going to fuel your journey as you continue, you know, ahead. So we have to celebrate those wins and they may not seem big enough for us, but they really play a significant role in our success. So as Sam Walton, which all, you know, we all know that he is the founder of Walmart. He said, celebrate your successes, find some humor in your failures, let your your triumphs invigorate you. And also take those losses in stride. After all, life is indeed about learning, growing, and evolving. How are we learning? How are we growing? And how are we evolving? You know, if we're constantly doing the same thing 
in expecting different results. We already know that's the definition of what? (laughs) Insanity. So how can you change that today? How can you begin to learn more about yourself and why you feel like Monday mornings is a struggle for you? What is happening between Sunday and Monday? You know, Years back when, um, you know, I was in the corporate world and, um, you know, I really had control over managing my schedule, I would start looking at my schedule and planning on Sundays. And I'll tell you, that is something that I continue to do today. My planning days are on Sunday. I'm planning out the whole entire week. What does it look like for me, for my family, for my calendar, for my appointments, for my meetings? What does the week look like? So I'm not just rolling into Monday mornings, you know, and again, if you can't plan on Sunday, maybe you can do this Monday morning, but I would highly recommend taking some time to plan out what your week is going to look like. What is your intentions going to look like? How are you going to grow this week? How can you be evolving this week? How can you be evolving today? And maybe, you know, for you is looking at, okay, this is how I feel on Monday mornings. What can I do between this Monday and the next following Monday to change that thought process, to change my attitude? What am I doing? How am I contributing to the fact that I don't like Monday mornings? And maybe there are factors that's within us, or maybe there's factors that's external that are, you know, that's around us, like I mentioned, as far as jobs and people. But how can you, what is your role in it? So, how can you change that process? How can you change that thought process? So, again, we need to set clear intentions. We need to have positive visualization. We need to celebrate our achievements. You know, um, I just talked about how um, Elrod and his book, Miracle Morning, and he actually um, had said this one um, some time ago. He said, let today be the day you give up who you've been for who you can become. And let me tell you how powerful that is. As you think about how you wake up every single morning, are you being intentional? Are you being intentional every single day? How can you become the highest version of yourself? So I think we really need to take that a step further and declare, let every Monday be the day we give up the past week's downfalls for the opportunities that the new week brings. We're not going to look at what happened last week. Guess what? It is a new day. It is a new Monday. It is a new opportunity. And if we can be completely, you know, honest, it's a new month. That means there are opportunities for you to learn, for you to grow, for you to evolve. So let's dive into the new week, embracing the promise that every Monday holds. I really feel like it's time to empower our Mondays. And in order for us to empower our Mondays, we have to be intentional, you know, really practice the the positive visualizations, celebrate our wins so we can start our week strong. How are you starting your week? You know, I believe that it's so important for us to assess where we are, where we are, where we're trying to go. Even when it comes down to something as, you know, our thoughts and our feelings, um, our emotions about Monday mornings. How, I mean, for many of us, it may even go all the way back to when, you know, you were in school. Maybe there was things happening at school or in your life that really made Monday mornings a struggle for you. Maybe you're struggling Monday mornings because you're not getting adequate rest on Sundays. What I'm really wanting to encourage you to do is look at why. It's always it's always going to go back to the why. Why are you on the struggle bus every Monday morning? Why do you, you know, hate Mondays? 
write it down. Begin to dive into it further, really assessing that and how you can shift your thought process. How can you transform your mindset to where Mondays become the, your favorite day of the week? Because the fact that you've made your intentions clear, because you're working on growing, you're working on developing yourself. And I believe that when we do that, when we begin to execute on our goals, our dreams and walking into our purpose, it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. And when you're doing that, the energies that may be around you, the energies that may come towards you, the negative energy that people bring, whether it's from jobs or, you know, our coworkers or whatever it may be. When, I, when you are walking into your purpose, when you are executing on your goals, your dreams, you know, for some reason, all of that external negativity, it just doesn't matter because you're focused. So I hope that you're ready on this journey. I hope that today you are able to, you know, really pull some insights. I hope that you, you know, you really gained a different perspective on you, the way that you view Monday mornings. Now, certainly if you view it as I love Monday mornings because of X, Y, Z, or, you know, I hate Monday mornings because of X, Y, Z, begin to really dive into that so you can get a better understanding of where you are and where you're trying to grow. So I hope you're ready. I really hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to empower your Mondays to start your week strong. I hope you're ready to execute on your goals, your dreams, and walking into your purpose. Let's get it. Let's go. Thank you for listening to the Mornings with Jerisha show. Follow me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube at Jerisha Moore. Email Jerisha at EmpowerOnPurpose.com and text 937-938-6373 and have a great day on purpose.